help support the videos I make and get yourself a free game. The link is in the description. If I'm to choose between one evil and another, I'd rather not choose at all. Hi guys, what's going on? It's Roller, and in today's video, I'm bringing you a little recap on The Witcher story, just to help bring everyone up to speed, whether completely new to the game or just wanting a refresher. Just a warning that I'm condensing information that spawned two games and a host of books into one shot video. As you can see by checking the time of this episode, I'm leaving a lot of details out. So, let's start at the beginning. Geralt, the main character, was left at the Wolf School as a child by his mother. The Wolf School being a place where witches are trained. While at the school, Geralt, as well as the other apprentices, underwent numerous mutations and trials that would kill most who try them. However, survivors of this process would gain superhuman physical and mental abilities. One notable drawback being that because of the processes they undergo, witches are sterile. Geralt, having grown up and being a fully fledged witcher, wants to go out and do what witches are famed for, and that slay monsters in exchange for rewards. It's indeed saving someone's life from a curse that Geralt invokes the Law of Surprise when he claims his reward. The Law of Surprise is a request for something which neither the saviour nor the saved knows the nature of until the saved man returns home. When promised any reward by the man, Geralt replied, That which you already have, but do not know. This turned out to be Syrah, the man's as yet unborn daughter. Although he didn't know it, Geralt and Syrah were now bound by destiny. Geralt and Syrah had a rocky start to their relationship, but he decided to raise her as his own daughter with Yennefer, giving her partial witcher training. Yennefer herself, a sterile sorceress and the love of Geralt's life, trained Syrah in the arts of magic with her and Geralt's friend, Triss Merigold. These happy days do not last forever and due to a range of events that would take forever to explain if I were to go into detail, our group gets split up. But to give you the quick version, Yennefer has amnesia and is in Nilfgaard, the capital of the Nilfgaardian Empire, which is the game's version of the Roman Empire. While Ciri had been taken by the Wild Huntsmen because of her bloodline, she does however manage to escape with their wild hunt in hot pursuit. The Wild Huntsmen, who will feature heavily in the third game, are a bunch of elves called the A&L. They actually exist in another world, but can take on spectral form when visiting the world the Witcher inhabits. As for Geralt, like Yennefer, he has amnesia, but he's being aided by Triss, who is in love with him. And that's it, you're up to date. Like I say, I've condensed the story into the shortest and easiest to understand details, so hopefully you'll know what to expect to happen in The Witcher 3. Of course, if you're interested in learning more, there are tons of reading resources out there. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.